2019, UC Berkeley has celebrated Zero Waste October as it aims to be Zero Waste Month. The Student Environmental Resource Center, SERC, organizes a series of events each year under the extensive slogan of Zero Waste October, raising awareness for further progress in waste reduction on campus overall and equipment students with the skill sets to achieve this goal. So we started off the month with like an educational event that we hosted in partnership with the Students of Color Environmental Collective. Um, and so we spoke about waste and environmental justice. We had a bunch of different events, or there's still some coming up. We had a handful of clothing swaps hosted by Reuse. The football game as well that happened this month against Oregon State was like a zero waste game. So the Cal Zero Waste Department um, was out there tabling and um, engaging with football fans. Um, on why zero waste is important to the athletics even. According to the new California Compass Law of 2022, people and organizations throughout California are required to separate organic material from other garbage using compostable bins provided by town, city, or counties. UC Berkeley as a school is also making efforts to reduce waste by ensuring disposable dishes and utensils at dining hall are compostable an educating student with slogan of zero waste by 2020 and beyond and garbage bin on campus. These efforts led to the achievement of diverting 54% of solid waste from landfill through recycling, composting, donating, or reselling. I think overall it's much better than like any other place I've been in, especially you know with like the bins and all that. There's a lot of really cool like student initiatives and stuff for you for like zero waste and like um, maintaining towards that standards. With this achievement, however, the Zero Waste Coalition seeks a higher level of accomplishment for the environmentally friendly future of the campus. The biggest issues right now is waste sorting. Um, so a lot of students, um, including myself, are coming to Cal and like sorting is super confusing. Many of us come from places where composting isn't a thing. Um, and we have like compostable plastics and all these other different kinds of plastics and it's like really hard to know where they go. And now as those compostable plastics are everywhere, we're also realizing like, they're not really contributing much to the compost and like the soil that's being made. Um, and it's also, it's, again, it's just still like a wasteful system. It's very much imperfect. To improve the waste situation even more, there are four important tips that we can keep in mind. First of all, reduce the amount of waste on daily basis. Try to choose items with less packaging that end up as trash. Use cloth napkin instead of paper. There are so many smart choices to reduce waste if you pay attention to them. Secondly, reuse. Even though using disposable dishes and utensils is way more convenient, the continuous usage of those accumulates. Carry water bottle and use reusable grocery bags. These tiny efforts also save you money. The next thing you can do is recycle. Electronic devices that you no longer use, bring them to e-waste recycling. Got trash from plastic bottles and cans? Separate them from other garbage so that they can come back to the market in different forms. Last but not least, compost. When waste breaks down in a landfill, it releases methane into the atmosphere. Separating compostable properly leads to the reduction in greenhouse gases. It is the easiest way to prevent global warming. I think just being mindful um, and just like, reuse and reduce or the number one, you know, carry your water bottle around, bring like a coffee cup to the, um, to like a cafe if you're going to buy coffee. So it really does add up and it really can save um, putting in these like small investments into things that will last you for a really long time, for sure. This was Yoko Furukawa from Kao TV News. Thank you for enjoying the content.